Ryan here, Brittany here, Audrey here, I'm Marga, and welcome back to another episode of My Code. In this episode, we'll be explaining what code actually is. Code is the message you use to convey things. Code is a set of symbols created by computer programmers to help give computers a certain task. When you're writing code, you're basically giving your computer a to-do list, and then it runs through all the commands and does whatever you wanted it to do. You can think of code as the recipe for your favorite chocolate chip cookies. The recipe will tell you what ingredients you'll need, how many of each ingredient you'll need, and what exactly to do to bake those cookies. So if you type into a calculator 2 plus 2 and it gives you back 4, you just commanded the calculator. That's basically how code works, except the commands get way more complex so you can build all kinds of awesome programs. When I go to get into the car and I flip through the radio station channels, all these things were coded so that I can interact with them and control them. To code means to create and write out the instructions for a computer. Whether it's brainstorming how you're going to structure a program or physically typing it out, these both are part of the process of coding. To code means to communicate with a computer in a way you can only understand it. For instance, you can talk to me in English or in Spanish. You can say like, hello Margo, or hola Margo, and I'll understand both. Code is a way of talking to a piece of technology, like your computer, and having it respond in some way. When you write code, you're basically giving your computer a bunch of commands, and then it gives you back the result of whatever those commands were. Code means to write out exactly what you want your computer to do. To so code is to transfer your ideas onto a computer using a programming language. You can code a website, a video game, a robot, or anything you wish. All you have to do is type out some commands in the correct order and BAM! You have yourself your very own coding creation. I use code to do a lot. From when I wake up in the morning and my alarm clock goes off, to when I go to get a cup of coffee from my Keurig. It's coded to let me know what time it is, if I need to fill it up with water, what size cup I should choose. I use code to solve the problems that I encounter every single day. For example, when I had trouble keeping track of all my homework, I created an app that told me when assignments were due. It made me a thousand times more efficient, and it made me proud of my coding skills. I use code to make small text-based projects in languages like Java. Sometimes these projects are as simple as like a basic calculator, but other times I'll spend weeks or even months creating like a choose-your-own-adventure game. I use code to create programs that can either help me or help change the world for the better. You can use code to create art or to create the inventions that you want to see a reality. All these things were coded so I could interact with them and control them. I have been coding for the past four years, and in those four years, I've mainly coded video games. And in those video games, I teach players how to recycle, eat better, and about social issues that are unknown. These projects are really fun to make, and they help me practice my coding skills. Well, we hope you're a little more familiar with code now. Next week, we'll be talking about programming languages and what exactly they do. Questions? Write them in the comment section below. See you right here next week. Bye, guys. Bye! Bye.